Okay, this is a little video, basically if you're picking up a 512, um, people are always concerned with getting the body off, pulling it off. You get a little bit of WD-40 and wick it down in the screw holes. Okay, and then wiggle the body a little bit. The body's supposed to move. There's supposed to be this movement. This is part of what makes the car handle. But anyway, wiggle it around a little bit and you'll find that it comes off fairly easy. It does take a little bit of pressure, but once it's got some lubrication on there, they come off relatively easily. So that's important to know. Um, do not just pull but you don't need to take the screws out. They're one and a half mil Allens. If you're really concerned that you can't get it out, then take them out. And then what we do next is we put white lithium grease on these O-rings. Um, that makes them slipperier and they will come off and on much easier once they're not dry. From the factory, they're dry. The WD-40 helps get them off the first time. And then after that, um, white lithium grease, they snap on and snap off or pop on and pop off. So. Right now, we're building a bunch of these, so we'll do one more. I've got a little pool of uh, WD-40 I sprayed onto a piece of card, so I'm able to pick it up on the end of this Allen key. Just wick it down around the head of the Allen key. I'm not trying to lubricate the Allen screw, I'm trying to lubricate the O-ring. Just get it all the way down in there, wiggle it around. And then... Wiggle. This movement here is important because it's going to distribute the uh, WD-40 onto the O-ring and then pop, pop. And you know, don't yank, just ease it off. It will be, a, there's a bit of resistance, they want it to be, otherwise they come off easily in a crash. But that's one of the features because it's an endurance race car. One of the other things we've noticed, um, and it's not saying I can do anything about here but i would recommend it um, to any customer certainly i recommend lock tighten all the screws and um, check the spacing of the rear wheels um, you may need to change the spacers a little bit because otherwise if the tire kisses on the bodywork it's going to smear off this goodyear um, please be aware of that before you run them and then fatten up the braid uh, Loctite screws, set the gear mesh, it's not set from the factory. Um, this one's not too bad, but it's not set from the factory. I find the tightest spot on the gear and I move the motor in, you undo these two screws here, slide the motor in, gently nip them up, check, make sure it's not binding, but the tightest spot where it isn't binding. No lash, because uh, that's tight. And then tighten these up, this one obviously stabilizes the back of the motor and then make a sharpie mark with a silver sharpie where the gear was tight lubricate your bearings having aligned the axles um, and then run it dry either on the track ideally with the brake disconnected or run it on a power supply just leave it running for 10-15 minutes on a power supply you'll find it will wear the tight spot and um, then Check it again, readjust so as you've got the zero lash at the tightest spot. It'll probably be a different spot now. Mark that. Do that three times and you'll have a much better, quieter running car. Just the little things that we've learned over the years. This feature, the sprung guide, works. When the car leans in a corner, if it's not sprung, the di power disconnects. And that makes the car either stutter and drop back down or it will make it tip over itself and roll out. Um, if the guide is set long like this, so we've got quite a bit of movement, the braid stays contacted with the braid of the track or the steel rail, so you don't lose power. Because as soon as you lose power, the motor is going to start slowing down, and that's going to make the car on the tyre that's hardest on the track grip and tip the car over or make it drop back down and cause a, a chatter. Usually, you'll see that chatter on the exit of corners um, if you've got the car set up correctly, and that chatter will go away. Okay, that's a few little tips for the 512 
we are prepping and shipping these right now we're prepping everyone before we ship it because we believe in shipping you a product that is basically almost ready to run you're going to set have to set the gear mesh you're going to have to lock tight all these screws I recommend it. you don't need to lock tight the motor ones you can do those up tight enough and you're going to adjust the motor from time to time but lubricate the bearings don't lubricate the gear until it's broken in and then lubricate the gear with white lithium grease the o-rings here the white lithium grease as well okay that's basically how you set up a brm car